behind every person that you see shining their light brightly, doing what it is that they're, what you want to do and recognize that they chose that. They chose that for themselves. It didn't happen on accident. Hi there. So I wanted to pop in here and share a little story with you um, from this morning. Actually, I was working out with my trainer and my little fitness group at the gym today. And um, it was funny because there was uh, the, the trainer was teasing one of the guys because I was carrying I was using a higher weight than one of the guys there. And um, so it got a conversation going about age because he thought I was a lot younger. And so then when we started to share our age and he learned that I just um, turned 42 a couple of days ago, he was surprised because at first he thought that I was able to carry more weight because I was a lot younger than what he had thought. Um, and that really surprised one of the girls there. And um, so she thought I was a lot younger and um, we started chatting and I'm like, no, I turned 42 just a few days ago. And she, um, she said, do you have kids? And I said, no, nope, no kids. And she said, oh, that must be why. And, um, and I said, because of the stress, because kids are stressful. And she said, she said, yeah, or something like she, she agreed like that kids are stressful or something like that. And I love her, but I wanted to highlight this because what she did was something that we all do. And that is we make excuses and we put other people on a pedestal when we see that there's something that we want, that they already have, or that they've already, you know, been able to achieve in their life. So this can be in any area of your life. I'm going to relate this to business for you here in a second. Oftentimes our first defensive mechanism, this is so we can stay smaller than when, and stay in our comfort zone. We come up with a rationalization of why it must be easier for them. So I've already proved you don't need kids uh, to have a stressful life, right? So if you know a little bit about my background, I was a stress ball for about four or five years straight, nonstop, waking up with anxiety every single day, going to bed with anxiety every single day, completely stressed out, a very short fuse, a very angry person oftentimes, very, very, very short fuse, very um, up and down emotionally, ruined my gut health, completely trashed my gut health. I had all the, you know, the leaky gut, the SIBO, the IBS, the food allergies, like all of it. I was always sick with the flu. I would, I would get better after a week and then I would get the flu again. And I remember it was terrible. I was very fatigued. I had low energy. Um, all of this was a byproduct of stress. And I eventually landed myself in the ER with walking pneumonia because I had shot my immune system. Um, if I was, you know, this is a very, stress weakens your immune system and makes you susceptible to so much, but I didn't have kids in order to have to be stressed, right? That's not the reason that I'm able to be really healthy at the age of 42, right? So, when we make excuses and we put someone else on a pedestal and then we try to say, uh, and then we try to see like why it's possible for them to have that. And we sort of separate ourselves from having those same kind of, like being able to achieve those same kind of results. Basically what that's saying is, well, that makes sense. That's why you can do it, but I can't do it. That's why you're able to do it, but I can't do it because I have kids or because of this or because of that, right? We immediately make a justification and we put the other person on a pedestal or we separate ourselves from the, them in some way. One of the biggest reasons that we don't go after our dreams and what we want is because we think it's possible 
for other people, but we don't think it's possible for ourselves. And then when we see someone else doing what it is that we want to do, I'm going to relate this to business now for you. When we see someone doing what we want to do, we often will put them on a pedestal and we'll, our mind will come up with all of the reasons why it must be really easy for her. Um, why she makes it look so easy. It's gonna, you know, that's great for her, but it's not gonna work for me kind of mentality. And then we'll come up with all of the reasons. She asked me if I had Botox. No, I've never done Botox, you know? Um, so it's like our mind will try to find the excuses to make it easier to justify why it's okay that we don't have the same kind of results that we're looking for so we can can um, play small and justify why it's okay for someone else to have them but not for me okay that makes sense you know okay sh you know so started pro oh do you have kids oh do you do botox oh this or that no you know the life that i have for myself is completely different than the life i had 10 years ago 10 years ago i was you know riddled in debt. I had $300 to my name with an $1,800 mortgage payment, getting declined at the grocery store to buy groceries. Okay. So yeah, this is, you know, an, ec an economy that collapsed on me, you know, um, tenants that weren't paying their rent, multiple mortgages leading to foreclosure, eventually leading to bankruptcy. Like I know what it's like. This is not, so a lot of times I'll hop on coaching calls with women who see me shining my light online, sharing my message. And it wasn't like that um, at the beginning. And money wasn't handed to me. I grew up in a family where money was very hot and cold, hot and cold. Um, there was no stability. You know, I had to build everything. And the reason I was able to build everything for myself is because I eliminated excuses from the equation. I eliminated excuses from the equation. And when I looked out and I saw someone else doing what I want to do, it gave me more motivation because if it, if it can work for her, it can work for me. And this is a complete mindset, sh mindset shift, right? A complete perception shift. So if you see yourself looking at people online, doing what you want to do, and you start to throw out the excuses of why it's possible for, for them, but not possible for you, recognize that you are playing small and holding yourself back. And that if you could flip that and you could say, well, if it's possible for her, it's possible for me. And you know, people make it look easy online because eventually it gets easy, right? It gets easier and easier because as you clear out the resistance, you come more and more into alignment. And as your frequency and the vibration that you're offering is more in alignment with your desires, right? As you're operating from a place of positivity and optimism and a growth mindset versus excuses and justifications and a lack mindset, guess what? Shit does get easier but first the universe is going to show you every place that you're holding on to those limited belief systems so you can clear them so you can move through them so you can move past them but if you continue to fall um you know re remain unconscious right because you're not consciously aware that you're doing it at the moment you have to be able to bring yourself into conscious awareness so you no longer remain unconscious to the patterns that are running underneath your radar and that are keeping you from making moves towards your dreams and your desires um, but this is a common thing that we do we'll tend to put some someone else doing what it is that we want to do or achieving what we want to achieve on a pedestal so that we can separate ourselves. And then when we separate ourselves, it will gives us the easy out of why it's not possible for us. And I'm saying don't take the easy out. Don't give yourself that easy out. Everything that you want is possible for you. If it is a desire in your heart, it is worthy of coming into full fruition. But it's not going to do that if you keep feeding the excuses. It's not going to be able to do that if you keep up the resistance. And it's not going to be able to do that if your belief systems don't get in alignment with your desire. You know? I've worked hard for everything that I've achieved to transform my health transform my life, transform my finances, transform my business, right? I've went from being 
sick and unwell to optimal wellness. I went from being broke as a joke to, and stressed and worried to living in complete alignment with my purpose and abundantly. I've, you know, went through my own trials and tribulations and not everybody is going to be shouting that from the rooftops. You know, you see, you see these spiritual entrepreneurs building their businesses, right? But it, and it makes it look easy because it does get easier. But don't forget, behind every person that you see shining their light brightly, doing what it is that they're, what you want to do, and recognize that they chose that. They chose that for themselves. It didn't happen on accident. I can surely say that none of the stuff that I'm manifesting in my life right now and in my business and with my clients and being in complete alignment with my purpose and transforming my health and transforming my finances and transforming my lifestyle and all of that, being able to quit my day job, doing all of this, none of that shit happened on accident. I chose it. And so don't give your power away so quickly. Choose it. Choose it. Recognize when those excuses come up. Recognize when you're putting someone else on a pedestal saying, well, it's possible for her, but it's not going to work for me. That's bullshit. That's a bullshit excuse. And it's the way your ego tries to keep you small. It's possible for you. And if it's a desire, again, I'm going to say this. If it's a desire within your heart, it's worthy of coming into your life in full fruition. But you have to not, you have to stop with the excuses and you have to choose it. And, I, and I, I bring this up because I've heard several comments like this on strategy sessions with some women when they hop on strategy calls. They say, well, I just want to be doing what you're doing. And I just, they, they admit that they feel inadequate compared to watching me do my thing online. And I, and I, when they're on the calls with me, I get to talk to them very candidly, you know, just like this and let them know like, hey, it wasn't always like this. You know what I mean? I, I knock myself off the pedestal for them all the time. I do this with my clients as well, taking myself off the pedestal all the time. And I'm not saying, I'm not up here saying, oh, you're putting me on a pedestal. I'm not saying that. I'm saying on a psychological level, we, it's a behavior pattern. It's a defense mechanism. It's a, it's a way that our ego keeps us playing small in life, in all areas of our life, right? And so I'm not saying that you're necessarily doing this with me. I'm just saying recognize where you're doing it in your life, period, where you're separating yourself as if something else, someone else is able to achieve the success uh, that you want, but it's not possible for you. Just recognize where you're doing that. Um, because that's gonna make all the difference because everything that you wanna create in your life is a byproduct of you choosing it. So I hope this video finds you well and I look forward to you tuning into another episode. Namaste.